Hey guys, what's going on? Justin Williams here, and I am super pumped to uh, come and hang out with you guys here shortly at the SDIC San Diego Real Estate Investment Club. I've got my good friend, Jared, over there. Jared, where, what happened to your dance, man? You're not doing your dance anymore? All right, anyway, uh, that's, that's how we roll around here, hopping over each other's fences, right? So, uh, we're gonna be going to the beach in a little bit with, with Jared, and <laughs> there's his, oh, there we got him, we got him. So uh, anyway, I wanted to wanted to show you guys something really quick. See this guy right here, who's um, about to get slapped by that well. This is a guy named named Pat Martin, and Pat Martin, um, he's become a good friend of mine. He is someone that I recently hung out with at a recent seven figure flipping meeting. Now, seven figure flipping is a a group that I've been running for about two years now, and the whole goal of seven figure flipping is we take six figure real estate investors and help them become seven figure real estate investors. And we've done that time and time again with many of our students. Um, so I wanna share the story with, with Pat. Now, I did not know this until just a few weeks ago when I was hanging out with Pat and talking to him and asking him like, hey Pat, how did you find out about me? And, and we just got into this discussion and he shared with me that he found me three, uh, in two, it was 2014. I did this post on a popular blog site called Bigger Pockets. I'm sure you guys have, have all heard of it. And I was gonna post about my journey to, of my goal, I had a goal that year to flip 150 houses. Now, up until that time, I'd never flipped 150 houses. The year before, I flipped just over 100. The year before that, into um, 2012, I did 120. But I'd never done 150. So I wanted to do this, this post, this thread where once a week I would document exactly what I what I did, what our goals were, what we hit, what we didn't hit, and just answer questions for people, just kind of a way of me giving back to, to the community. And it was this crazy thing, we were in Utah at the time when I, when I posted it, and my wife was kind of going through this mode of depression. That's a whole nother story for, for another day, but something that she went through uh, a few years ago. And um, but she was taking a nap, and we were there visiting her, her parents, and I thought, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start this thread. And, and I started the thread and I was excited. I thought a lot of people were gonna get a lot of value out of it. And I was just excited just to, to share and um, help other people understand some of the things that I had learned. So I started this thread sharing what I was gonna do. And man, I just got slaughtered, right? Like all these people were jumping on there and calling me a liar and saying, that's impossible. You can't really flip a hundred houses a year and you're just this and that, and we don't believe you. And it was crazy, right? Like it made me sick to my stomach um, it, it was it was really hard for me. It was really a big challenge, and I, I didn't know how to react. I mean, I just felt absolutely like like sick to my stomach. It was just it was just a horrible feeling. I remember my wife waking up and she needed to go for a drive. She wasn't feeling good, and I just wasn't there for. Her. I wasn't present because I was totally in in another zone and just like just couldn't couldn't believe the reaction I was I was getting. I mean, it really hurt. Um, but but beyond that, I was I was shocked that so many people didn't think this was possible. You know, they didn't think it was possible to flip a hundred houses or, or, or to a certain degree. I was like, wow, this is really interesting. You know, it's, I'm on this website called Bigger Pockets and people don't believe you can make that big of an income. So it was kind of interesting because I was there with Pat and I found out that Pat had actually, you know, so I went on, I continued to do this thing, even though I was getting slammed along the way. You can look and look it up, look up like 150 houses in 2014 on Bigger Pockets and you'll, you'll see it. And then later on, a bunch of people who knew me kind of came to my rescue and it became this big controversial thing. It, it was kind of crazy. Is Justin a fraud? Is he for real? And all the stuff. I gave people a challenge. Like, if you come out to my office, come look at every single, um, you know, I'll, I'll show you the paperwork. Like you can look at every transaction we've done. Uh, you can look at the HUD, you can look at the checks. Like, and then, but I said the one caveat is you got to let people know what that I really did it, right? But no one took me up on it, of course. But anyway, that's a whole nother story. The crazy thing is, I, I felt like I was wasting my time. I felt like I was spinning my wheels. Like these guys weren't really getting a lot out of it. And then at this meeting recently, I found out that Pat found me through that thread. And then I dug in a little deeper and I was talking to some of the other members and I found out that three people who joined my seven figure flipping program who are now at like Pat, Pat should do a million dollars this year in his house flipping and wholesaling business. And I found out that there are three different people in that group that all found me from this thread. Crazy, right? And that's only the people that, I, that I'm aware of. And um, 
so I guess the point is a couple things. You know, you never know who you're who you're impacting. Uh, don't listen to the naysayers. Uh, don't let don't let people get you down in in your business and what you have going on, uh, because there there you are making a difference, right? So that, that's takeaway number one. But takeaway number two is, is kind of um, is kind of interesting, right? Like there are certain things that like oh, oh this is what Pat said. Okay, so I get I remember why I was going to share this story with you. So when we're at that meeting, Pat was just laughing about how no one believed me in that blog. And he's like, but yet here we are in this, this, this mastermind meeting. And there are so many people in this room that are going to do a hundred plus deals this year. Right? Like there was probably about 15 or so investors in that room that would probably hit a hundred or close to a hundred deals that year. And another 20 or so that we're going to do over 50 deals. And then a bunch of others that were doing six figures and, and getting close to high six figures, right? And and it was just so interesting, you know, the the, the people you surround yourself with, you know, there's there's people out there who, who believe things can be done and people who, who don't. And what I found in the past 10 years, I've been flipping houses for over 10 years and I've worked with a lot of people in the most, re most recently, a lot of really high-end clients. And I found that there are very specific, very certain things that very high level investors do, people who are making high six and seven figure incomes do, and and things that people don't do who are not successful or not successful at a high level in this business. Um, there are people who are out there and they might be making an okay income in real estate, but but they're working their, their guts out. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it doesn't take a lot of work, it does. But to me, it's all about creating a, a business, not a job, it's creating something that, that works for you, something that will give back to you year in and year out. You know, you go on vacation and you still make money. Not saying it didn't take an effort to build up to that, to create that machine, but but that's how I've ran my business. Um, you know, up until last year, I was flipping around 100 houses a year for the past several years. Uh, we flipped well over 600 houses in the time that I've been doing this business. And I was only putting a few hours a week into my business. And that might sound crazy to some people. You know, there might be someone out there who's like, oh, it's not true, fine. That's fine. Go go be with the rest of those people who don't believe it's possible. Um, but I'm here to tell you that that it, it is. While it's not easy, the process is simple. And and that's what I want to share with you guys. Um, when I come out there and speak at, at the the real estate investment club, I don't do this very much anymore. Um, but Daryl and Imran, they're they're good friends of mine, and they've they've been there for me. And I've got a lot of their club, and and so I want I want to give back. When I, I agreed to to do this at least one last time. And um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do it. I mean, typically I charge a couple thousand dollars for my time, so uh, a couple thousand dollars an hour for my time. And, and this coaching program that Pat's a part of is a twenty five thousand dollar coaching program, so it's not cheap. Uh, but I'm just gonna come out and, and just uh, just share everything I got with you guys, answer any questions you have, and, and I'm excited. It's gonna be a good time. So looking forward to seeing you guys there. Um, yeah, come ready with your questions, and I'm excited to share with you the secrets of the seven figure. Flipper and House Flipper, I'm probably more qualified to speak on this topic than anyone else in, in the country, just because not only have I done it, but I've coached so many other people and, and I have a mastermind group where that's the sole purpose of the entire group uh, to get people there. So super excited to come and share with you guys and we will see you there. Don't miss it. See you there. Bye-bye.